Cable Connections of the Fire Pump Before supplying power to the control panels, it is important to turn on the automatic manual keys to the manual position. Connect the pressure switch cables by matching the switch labels on the pressure collector and the labels on the cables. Use connectors 1 and 2 for the pilot pump, engine off, and 1 to 4 for the main pumps. Connect the pump's micro switches. Check that the micro switches are in the correct position while making the connections of the micro switches that indicate the positions of the suction and pressure valves by ensuring that the valve position and the warning lamp on the alarm panel are matched. Connect the power supply cables of the main pump and pilot pump. If there is a diesel pump in the system, first fasten the battery terminals by connecting the red battery cable to the plus terminal and the black battery cable to the minus terminal. Activate the rectifiers and the engine block heater by connecting the cable used to charge the batteries to a 220 volt AC power supply. Ensure the engine block heater is working. Ensure the diesel engine is deaerated as shown. Keeping the diesel engine warm during the initial startup will help the batteries start more easily since they will be full. Ensure that all fuses inside the panel are open. Ensure the auto manual button on the diesel panel is on the man position, otherwise the diesel engine may run without waiting for your command. Connect the engine starter terminal number 50. Connect the red cable inside the alarm panel to the plus pole of the battery. There will be an alarm since the other panels in the system are not in automatic mode. Press the alarm off button to stop the siren. Connect the machine extension plugs from the alarm panel to the respective sockets. Connect the P2 socket to the S2 plug. Place the floaters connected to the panels to the tank by carefully calculating the tank level and the minimum water level.